Y'all are gonna be seeing some crazy here with this lighting that I have to deal with, but in Florida, it'll all change in a hot minute, so it's all good. How you doing, hey? So, I've got some fun for you today. You're gonna be so excited. We gonna play with some bubble wrap. Y'all know this stuff that your kids, they just like sit there and they're like, oh man, no, no. Right now, some of my friends are going a little crazy because of the sound of just pulling the tape off. But we have to pull the tape off. It's kind of a rule. We're going to have a little bit of fun with bubble wrap tonight. Now, if this is your first time, hey, Lynn and Donna, if this is your first time joining me on the DIY page here, or actually it's my public page. Sorry about all the lighting issues. It'll get better when I turn the camera down. Um, what I want you to do is share, share, share. Share this everywhere you can. Hey, Ashley and Melanie. Hey, hey, you finally caught a live. What, what? So I've got funky lighting right now because of just the time of day it is. And um, my upstairs, my studio, as you see, there's a lot of windows and that's on both sides. So right now the sun is coming through. Um, let's see, that would be the east side of my house. Right? South, north, west, east, yes. The east side of my house. So, we gonna play with some bubble wrap. Anyways, I wanna do this sunshine on my mind. Oh, that is just wow, shining at you. Sunshine on my mind from all the sun, what? We're going to do that, but we're going to play with some bubble wrap first. I, you know what? Bubble wrap is stress relieving, right? Major stress reliever, Donna. But tonight we're going to play with that. You are so welcome for your little gift and words of encouragement, Ashley. It is so good. Schwankums in the house. Schwankums. Schwankums in the house. She's in Virginia. She's in the house. We all in the house. We all in the house, Schwankums. You ain't special no more. Because we all in the house, just saying. Okay, anyways, I love being with you guys. So let's go ahead and get going. I have to remove some Cottontail Farm. I was singing. So I have um, Pearl as one of our cats. And I was singing. And whenever anybody sings, especially Ben, my, old, uh, my youngest son, um, whenever he sings, she usually comes up and like attacks him. Like it really bothers her. But tonight I was singing, then sings my soul. And she came up and just started going at me. Like I was, you know, killing her ears. So this is our new scraper guys. This has been like a godsend lifesaver. I have a whole bunch of these, um, white boards. If you guys are interested, you know that I'm going to be doing a album sale over on my VIP page. It's coming up. I'm working on getting everything ready to post and then post it hopefully by the weekend to get those albums up and going. Those colors look nasty together. I'm taking them off. Now you can use a paper towel for this part, but I'm too cheap. I mean, let's let's be real here. I'm just too cheap. I'm like, why use paper towel if I have all these um, craft towels already, right? So I just use what I got here. So you simply spray that with water, scrape it off with your um, scraper, get your chunks chunks out of out of there, and then just spray again. Get a clean towel, or you can use the back of this fuzzing cloth, which I love, 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 love because the front you use to fuzz and then the back you can use to clean and get the rest of all that nice and gone. This goes right and washes up really well. Okay, so this is the surface we're gonna use tonight to get our bubble wraps going on. 
What, Mary Jo, you're using bubble wrap? I am using bubble wrap. A friend of mine reminded me of this. I had done this a long time ago. I totally forgot about um, the way you can use bubble wrap. You can use the big bubble wrap, the little bubble wrap, the little stripey bubble wrap. Um, have you guys seen the little stripey, like straight, puffy bubble wrap? You can use whatever bubble wrap you want. Edgar, Angel, Jennifer, and Brenda are in the house too, Christy Schwenkums. Just so you know. Okay, so I'm going to move this so you guys can see it. I am feeling good today. Today was a really good day. I don't know if it was good for you guys. I've got my vitamins going on. I am I swear by them. I swear that y'all need to take them. If you don't, it's just an important thing. Now, since I'm going to do sunshine on my mind in hot yellow, but of course... I want to do my background in a pale green or, ooh, this pale blue. Um, let's do the blue. Oh, but then the blue will make it green. Hmm. Maybe I could, though. You know what? I'm going to do it. I'm going to do teal because I love teal. I love this teal. So, First thing you gotta do, remember you need to make this your um, sour cream consistency. This is our sprayer, our spritzer, I love it. Like I said, make sure you share, 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 cause this is a fun one. Share me all around, please, I'd appreciate it. Um, this is a really fun one. So, a nice um, thin consistency on this one. You guys remember how we would um, use a sponge and dab things on and like kind of make, um, I don't know, what's the look? It's kind of like a, uh, what do they call that? Like a sponge look on your wall. Duh, Mary Jo, hello. So that's kind of what we're gonna do here tonight. So you want to make sure that your bubbles are bubbly, okay, the ones you're going to use. Make sure you have a good piece of bubble wrap. Don't just have some junky piece of bubble wrap. Have a good one. And then kind of have it the size of what you're going to want to bubble, okay? So that'll work for me right there, okay, because I'm going to bubble this, okay? Now I'm going to put bubble side up. This is so fun, you guys. I haven't done this in years, like two years, guys. So I hope it's going to turn out for me. Now I'm just going to take a little spreader and I'm just going to blop all across my bubble wrap. I'm trying to remember how I did this because it turned out so cool before. I know, right? I used to use um, stampers too, some of my rubber stampers. Um, and I would put chalk on them, and that worked really well too. But I just, you know, I'm compassionate about the transfers, but sometimes you just have to have fun and do some weird little stuff, right? And that's what this is. So I'm gonna leave my bubble wrap there, and I'm gonna pick up my circle, and I'm gonna just go plop, and squeeze my bubble wrap down, and it should take right away. Look at that. I have instant polka dots. I missed part of my bubble wrap. It's okay. Look at that. How fun is that? Fun little pattern in the background. I can even add a few right here, because I need some. I need a little color blob there. I need one right there. Let's see. There, I got him. Okay, so we're going to dry that up. You're just going to throw away your bubble wrap, guys. Don't be trying to save no bubble wrap, okay? I like saying bubble wrap. And look, I made a mess on the side, so I get to show you guys how to clean that. So much fun. You guys are lucky tonight. You get to see it all. Chalking and being all crazy and washing your hands. I bet y'all don't know how to do that yet, right? Because it seems that America didn't know how to wash your stinking hands. So, now we know how to wash our hands, everybody. I know you got this. You got this, girl. Guys. Edgar, my man. You got this hand-washing thing down. 
Okay, so I had extra vitamin C today. Can you tell? Now look here, I got a big old chunk. I am going to lift that chunk up because I don't like it. It's not nice to not like everything, but it's okay. And I have another chunk here. This almost looks like a little leopard print, doesn't it? I just don't like the chunky things, guys. And I'm gonna show you how we're gonna smooth this out. Man, the sun's killing me. Are you guys good now? You guys can't see the sun now. So what's really cool is you can make this look like a uh, real retro looking hot mess stuff, or you can um, take and, I, I'm just getting a little chunks that I don't like in here out. We can sand them too with a little fine sander, but if I can just pull them, it's easier. Cause see this, yeah. Oh, that's not a chunk, that's just me. Okay, there we go. But, I had some yellow in there. Oh well. But anyway, so we're gonna dry this up and some of it's a little thicker and I wanna make sure that it's dry so that when I put my transfer on it, It'll be great. Look, I look like a real artist because I have like stuff on my hands, you know, and I have my palette that I made all hot, messy, crazy. It's gonna look so cool with this new transfer, guys. You're like, Mary Jo, you're nuts. And I'm like, yes, I know when I like it. Yeah, so I had super vitamin C today and I cut my coffee off at two o'clock. Seems a little sacrilegious, I know. I know, you guys. I'm telling you, I know. But here's why. <clears throat> it makes me feel better when I cut it off at 2 o'clock. Because then I'm not like, so this is really great because you just spray it once. Look, I'm only, I'm not going ch -ch 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 -ch. I just have to hold it once and it keeps spraying. It's kind of cool. Um, but like if I cut my coffee off at 2 I feel better like in the evening so that I can come here and be with you and be happy instead of like feeling like I've been hit by a Mack truck because I've been drinking coffee all day and um, I'm exhausted because I OD'd on caffeine, right? So I've had like three cups of water and all my coffee today and my healthy foods. I made chicken. Uh, lemon pepper garlic chicken for dinner so good and then I made a lemon cream sauce to go with peas and some noodles I just want that one gone I can start to see now because the Sun's going down Whew. it was getting hard there I think my contacts were like reflecting the light and making me crazy um yeah it was really good so I found, so I go to this place called Gordon Food Service for a lot of my meats and stuff um, when I want to stock my freezer. I'm going to get a whole cow once all this hot mess stuff is over and my freezer's empty and hurricanes are no longer a threat for us this year. And I'm gonna put it, I'm gonna um, probably, well I guess right now's the time you have to buy the cows though, right? Maybe I can put it on order and then somebody will keep it in their freezer until I can have my freezer empty. I don't want to get another freezer. That would be overkill because there's only four of us here now. I have enough food right now to feed like 5,000 people, I think. Anyways. So I went to Gordon and they had chicken thighs and I swear they were like this big. So I only made two of them, the thigh and the leg quarter, right? Two of them for four of us. And there's still a bunch of yum left in there from the lemon, pepper, garlic, chicken. Am I making y'all hungry? I hope so. If you haven't eaten, you need to go eat. Well, wait till we're done here and then you can go eat. Okay, so sunshine on my mind. I might go to the beach tomorrow morning. I think that's what I'm gonna do, is go tomorrow morning, go to the beach, hang out, come home, and then we have ballet class that my daughter teaches from home on Zoom right now for her little balleriners. 
Okay. And then we're gonna fuzz it here on our fuzzing cloth since it's a new transfer. I'm, I always do it twice. And since I have so much screen on this, and I wanna get that on there. Kind of excited. Do you like the bubble wrap thing? I really do. Okay, I'm gonna put this down. Sunshine on my mind. I'm in a singing mood, although there's not a song that goes with that. I've got sunshine on a cloudy day. Yep, that could be it. That's all I know of that song. I'd have to play it for you. Then I get in trouble with copyright laws and blah, 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 blah. So instead, I'll just sing it for you because it's not that great. I don't want to get in trouble. Okay, let me find my yeller. Hello, yeller. Where are you at, yeller? Well, is this you? Oh, here it is, the bumblebee yellow. I've got sunshine. Now I gotta sing that song. On a cloudy day. Okay, make sure you stir that puppy up. When it's cold outside, I got the month of May. Well, I. How's it go? Come on, somebody sing with me. Well, I something. Something, something, my girl, my girl, my girl. See, y'all, y'all singing with me here. Y'all should be singing. See, how have to take something for your class. We'll watch replay later. Okay, bye, Donna. Okay, so I'm just actually gonna put a blob here, just like that. Grab my squeegee. Give it a roundabout here. And I'm not even gonna go all the way because I want it to kind of be like haphazardly. You know what I mean? It doesn't have to be on there all the way. I, I just kind of want it haphazardly. Oh, that's what they're doing. They're watching Jeopardy. And there was some woman on there that Abby was like, oh, I can't believe she's on there again tonight. I gotta watch her again. She tried to tell everyone why she wrote her answer the way she did. And da, 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 da. I was like, she's like, she's so annoying. I gotta watch her again. I'm like, see, she did exactly what she wanted to do. She got you to watch her again. Oh yeah, baby. And see how? Oh yeah. Oh baby, baby. I said, baby, baby, baby. So I love it. So the only other thing I think I would do, and I will do it to show you how to do it, and then you guys can do it yourself, is I'm gonna paint in that sunshine on my mind. I want it in black. So let me get a paintbrush. I'll show you how I'm gonna do that. It's really, really simple. And I gotta get my black chalk. So y'all are learning all kinds of fun stuff tonight, aren't you? If I can find my black. It has to be here. So I had it the other day. But see, I wasn't planning on using it, so since I wasn't planning, I didn't have it towards Oh, it was sitting right on the top. Hello. Okay, so... We're going to dry this puppy up. Oh my gosh, I love how this looks. This is so me, you guys. If this were a magnetic board, I would have like a flamingo right there stuck on it. You guys want to see what my friend Tracy sent me? I'll show you while this dries. It is so fun. So my friend Tracy, she's another leader with Chalk Couture. She is so fun sent me this happy, look at this little guy, happy little flamingo guy. Now I gotta cut this off. I haven't had him poop the candy yet. Okay, and then I'm supposed to turn his head somehow. There's a way to turn his head. Maybe I open his head? No, it says turn up like that. And somehow you put the candy in here. But, okay, so you put the candy in 
somewhere here. It looks like it's just like little tiny, little tiny flamingo poop candy. Then you put it back, but then when you, isn't that hilarious? So when you push this, he poops out candy. I'm thinking I'll put nerds in there. I think that'll be hilarious. Isn't that funny? He's so cute. Okay, so he's gonna be sitting right here with me for a little while. Okay, so this is nice and dry. Let's get back this chalk. So we're gonna take the black. We're gonna make sure it's nice and thin, okay? Not overly thin. Um, take your multi-tool, clean up, get it all nice. But you wanna make it a nice, normally, you know, thin, not, not horribly watercolor-like but just a regular consistency, maybe a tad bit thinner, not much. But you see here how it's still pretty thick. And we might have to thin it a little more. Take your brush, make sure it's just a little bit wet. You can keep it just a little wet so you can get that. And you're gonna use it like paint. Then you're just gonna hold that pinky there, go right in the center and just brush that chalk in. And now you have a hand painted fun thing, right? But it's already given you all of your lines, right? And you don't even have to do all of it. Look at that, I could just leave some of it since that green is there. I just want, you know, now, if this were a black board, of course, it would already be black, right? But I did the white. Oh, I love the way this looks. You guys see? So it doesn't take long either, as you can see. And you're just simply filling in your negative with a paintbrush. It's not hard. The six-year-old that I have could do this. She would love to do this. She loves to paint. This is actually her paintbrush. She paints with the chalk paste all the time. She'd rather paint with the chalk paste than to use the screens. Because now the other thing you can do with this, say you have some of those flowers, you know what I mean? The flower that you do just the white. You can simply just fill it in just like this, painting it in. And it just, it's just fun. It's relaxing, guys. I'm feeling pretty good right now. I really like this hand-painted look. Like a lot. Like, I really do. Don't you love that? I'm not one, some of you guys might be like the cricket people that everything has to be perfect and everything has to be on point. I'm not that person. I think art should be art. I don't think art should be like everyone else. Oops, it's a little wet there. And so I like to do a few little different things, right? This is a little bit different and that's okay. And it really didn't take me that much longer. I mean, no, it's not a five minute dealy do, but you know what, it's mine. And I made it to be just like I wanted it. I love this. It's looking so pretty. Do you guys like this? Do you like the way you can do all kinds of fun things? We did bubble wrap. We're using a paintbrush. All kinds of fun things tonight. We get to use all the tools. We used a spritzer and a scraper. Shut up, Mary Jo. All this fun and a transfer and a squeegee. And our surface, right? That N is always, that's a funny N. But what do you think? Do you like using more tools or less? Tell me your thoughts, I'd love to hear them because everybody's different and that's good. Otherwise it would be so boring, guys. It would be so, so boring. So, so boring. We don't want boring. I'm tired of being bored. Are you guys tired of being bored? I gotta fill that in because it's just bugging me. There we go. 
Um, yeah, I like to do different things. See, it has my flair on it. I like this a lot. And then, since it's your paintbrush and it's just chalk, you can go back, wash it with water, and you're good to go. No big. I got sunshine on a cloudy day. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Let me show you my fun. What? So we did bubble wrap, we did a hand, we did a transfer, and we did a hand fill in to get our sunshine on our mind. Put a real pretty red, or red, yellow or teal bow on that. Put it right on your front door and summer and spring are here. Let me show you how to clean this transfer real quick since I got you. I'll show you real quick. Let me grab my towels and lay you down here and show you. So you can do one of two ways, right? I know the bubble wrap is so much fun. Shut up. Okay, so to clean your transfers, easy peasy, run it underwater. Run it underwater, wash it there. If you're here and you're lazy and you don't want to go underwater, then you just spray with your spritzer. Your mister, your spritzer. I don't know what it's called. You put water on it, y'all. Okay. Take your towel, and here's, this is the beauty of Chalk Couture. You just get in those screens just like that. Now, I am going to take this into the sink and do it a little better because that's how I flow. But I want you guys to see that you can clean it with just spritzing it with a little water. But you guys don't need to sit here and watch me clean, right? So I just wanted to show you a little area of it. And your goal is to get that screen clean. And you can scrub the top of your transfer as much as you want because all the important stuff's underneath. So once you get the top done, right? And I'm just doing this part by the S, okay? Then you just simply, look at that, my sunshine. Turn it over, just like that. And there's a little, you see how there's still some? Just spritz that right there because you want that yellow. It's gonna leave like a yellow haze, but you don't want the big chunks of chalk there. And you just simply lightly rub that off. You don't push hard on the back side, but on the front side, you can scrub with a scrubber with our board eraser is what I use in my bathroom. And then I turn it over and I just use my hand when I have the sink and the water running and I just wash the back off, you see? Because then you can get all that little bit of stuff around. Get in there a little easier. And this has a lot of screen on this one, so. Okay, that's all I got for you tonight. What do you think, isn't that fun? Hey, Julie! Nicole, what up? Barbara, Linda, lots of fun people. Michelle, I see you. Carly Nelson and Jeanette. How are you doing, Jeanette? I am so proud of you for being a nurse. Just, I just think you wanna be like me, so we'll just go with that. Ha. Um, I'm so happy for you. Okay, guys, that's all I got for you tonight. I'm going to actually go get dessert now. I have some fresh blueberry um, bread that I'm going to put a scoop of ice cream on. Yeah, baby, that's what I'm talking about. I love spring and summer. It's so much fun. Okay, guys, aloha, and I'll see you soon. And please share me with all your friends. And if you're not on the Chat and Chalk DIY community and you are not a designer with Chalk Couture, I can't have designers with Chalk Couture on my community page because that's only for VIPs and fun people like you. Um, make sure you join Chat and Chalk community here on Facebook in groups, okay? All right, I'll see you guys soon. Love ya, aloha.